Welcome to our video on Stoicism's 7 Types of People to Avoid. Ever wonder why some people seem to be perpetually calm, while others always seem to be in some sort of turmoil? Well, this intriguing contrast can be better understood through the lens of Stoicism, a philosophy that has stood the test of time, from ancient Greece to our bustling 2023. Stoicism, at its core, is an ancient philosophy that encourages discipline, self-control, and living in harmony with the universe. It also provides us with a valuable lens to understand the different types of people we encounter in our lives. Stoics believe that by understanding these types, we can navigate our relationships more effectively and lead a more fulfilling life. These types are not meant to label or judge, but to help us recognize certain behaviors that could be harmful to our personal growth. Remember, these categories are not definitive, and people can exhibit traits from multiple types at different times. The key is to understand these behaviors, be aware of them in ourselves and others, and learn how to manage them effectively. Now, let's dive into the first type, the angry person. First, Stoicism warns about the angry person. Constantly in a state of fury, they seem to be in a perpetual battle with the world. The angry person is often likened to a storm, fierce and unpredictable. They view life through a lens of hostility, taking offense at the smallest of slights. Their wrath is indiscriminate, aimed at friend and foe alike. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy grounded in logic and reason, has much to say about this personality type. Stoics believe that anger is an unnecessary emotion, a disruptive force that clouds judgment and hinders rational thinking. They argue that anger is based on a mistaken belief that we can control external events. But in reality, the only thing we truly control is our own reactions. Consider the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, who once said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Stoicism teaches us to respond, not react. But how does this apply to the next type of person? Next, we have the envious person. Always comparing themselves to others, they are never truly satisfied with what they have. Their eyes are perpetually fixed on the possessions, achievements, and lives of others. They're caught in a never-ending cycle of desire and dissatisfaction, making their happiness contingent upon the fortunes of others. Stoicism, the ancient philosophy of inner peace, views envy as a destructive force. It teaches us that true contentment comes from appreciating what we have, rather than longing for what others possess. Consider the story of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, who despite being born a slave, found peace and contentment in his own circumstances, never envying his masters. This perspective, as simple as it may seem, is incredibly liberating. When we stop comparing, we start appreciating. We begin to see the value in our own lives, irrespective of others. Envy is a thief of joy, as they say. But what happens when one's joy is found in their own superiority? Thirdly, Stoicism alerts us to the power obsessed. This person craves control and authority, often at the expense of their relationships and personal peace. Think of a CEO who sacrifices his own family time and disregards the concerns and suggestions of his team, all to maintain absolute dominance in the firm. They are constantly in a fight for dominance, unable to appreciate the tranquility that comes with shared and cooperation. The Stoics remind us that the pursuit of power, as seen in this CEO, should never overshadow our pursuit of virtue. Enter the arrogant person. They believe they are above everyone else and are not afraid to show it. In their world, they are the sun, and everyone else merely revolves around them. Their self-importance knows no bounds, and they often dismiss others' opinions and contributions without a second thought. The philosophy of Stoicism, however, warns us about such individuals. Stoicism teaches us that arrogance is an illusion, a false sense of superiority. It is a mask worn to hide deep-seated insecurities and fears. Stoics believe in equality and humility. They value wisdom over status, character over charm. Think of that colleague who never misses an opportunity to highlight their achievements, or that friend who always seems to have the last word in every argument. These are classic examples of arrogance, a trait that Stoicism cautions us to avoid. Arrogance is a mask for insecurity, according to Stoicism. But what about those who seem to be perpetually unhappy? Next, 
we venture into the realm of the Stoics, as they caution us about the materialistic. Let's take the example of a successful businessman, say someone like John D. Rockefeller. Born into modest circumstances, he amassed a vast fortune in his lifetime. Yet, he is quoted as saying, I know of nothing more despicable and pathetic than a man who devotes all the hours of the waking day to the making of money for money's sake. This demonstrates the timeless truth that individuals who believe happiness lies in possessions might spend their lives accumulating wealth, only to realize that material wealth cannot buy inner peace. Stoicism advises us, using examples like Rockefeller's, to find joy in simplicity and to understand that true wealth lies within us. Meet the complainer. Nothing ever seems to be good enough for them. They're the ones who can find a cloud in every silver lining. The ones who see the glass as perpetually half empty. The complainer is a master in the art of dissatisfaction, dwelling on the negatives and sharing their grievances with anyone who'll listen. Picture your old friend from school who is constantly dissatisfied with his job, which he has been stuck in for the past 10 years. Despite numerous opportunities to advance or switch careers, he found something to complain about rather than taking action. This friend is trapped in a cycle of negativity, resistant to change or growth. Just like him, these individuals might miss out on chances for self-improvement. Stoicism encourages us to take responsibility for our own lives and to make necessary changes. According to Stoicism, this kind of perpetual dissatisfaction is a form of self-inflicted suffering. Stoics believe in accepting things as they are, not as we wish them to be. They understand that life is filled with challenges and obstacles, but see these not as problems, but opportunities for growth and learning. Consider the complainer who's always stuck in traffic. The Stoic, on the other hand, would use this time to listen to an informative podcast or simply enjoy the solitude. The same situation, two entirely different experiences. Complaining doesn't solve problems, it amplifies them. But what if the problem is other people's business? Finally, we have the gossip. They thrive on the misfortunes of others, spreading rumors and secrets like wildfire. The gossip is an intriguing character, one who finds pleasure in the turmoil of others, turning their private matters into public spectacles. They are the spark that ignites the flame of discord, creating a wildfire of chaos and misunderstanding. Stoicism, on the other hand, provides a different perspective. It emphasizes the significance of personal character and virtue over the idle chatter. Stoicism encourages us to focus on our own actions and behaviors, rather than getting entangled in the lives of others. Remember the story of Zeno, the founder of Stoicism? He believed in the power of silence, arguing that we have two ears and one mouth so that we might listen more than we speak. Gossip is a form of social warfare, but Stoicism teaches us to rise above it. In conclusion, Stoicism alerts us to a variety of personalities. Let's delve into a few instances. The angry person, epitomized by that friend who perpetually let rage cloud their judgment and actions. The envious person, forever unsatisfied, in the pursuit of the next adrenaline rush, never content with what they have. The power obsessed, akin to an unyielding business magnate who steps over others to secure his supremacy. The arrogant person, blinded by their own self-importance. The materialistic, reminiscent of that neighbor always lusting after the latest automobile or the grandest residence. The complainer, such as those who constantly lament about their circumstances rather than taking action to change them. Lastly, the gossip, who thrives on others' misfortunes, loses sight of their own personal growth. Understanding these personalities provides us with the tools to navigate our interactions more wisely, enabling us to respond rather than impulsively. The Stoics advise us to cultivate a life of virtue, guided by wisdom and mindfulness. Remember, it's not the people or things that unsettle us, but our perceptions of them. Harness the wisdom of Stoicism to navigate the labyrinth of life's complexities. Now, we've covered a lot of ground today discussing the seven types of people Stoicism warns us to be wary of. The angry person, the envious person, the power obsessed, the arrogant person, the materialistic, the complainer, and the gossip. Each of these types presents unique challenges, but also opportunities for us to exercise our Stoic virtues and wisdom. 
These types is not about judging others, but rather about cultivating our own growth. It enables us to maneuver our interactions wisely, to respond rather than react, and to maintain our peace of mind in the face of life's complexities. It's your turn. Try to implement this knowledge in your everyday interactions. Observe the people around you, and more importantly, observe your reactions to them. Are you letting their behavior disrupt your peace? How can you apply Stoic wisdom to sustain equanimity? Thank you for joining us on this journey through Stoic wisdom. Remember, it's not the people or things that disturb us, but our perceptions about them. So, let the wisdom of Stoicism guide you through life's complexities. Stay mindful, stay virtuous, and keep growing.